left on the floor. Ball is up. <laughs> We're underway. Basketball in Asheville. Taking a look at the starting lineup first for the Bucks is King, Sloan, Brewer, Ladarius Brewer, your player to watch, wearing 25, and Charlie Weber. And that's Charlie Weber. I apologize for the mispronunciation. And now your starting lineup for the homestanding Bulldogs. 0 1 2 3 4. Stephanie Battlethorpe, Jones, and Pember. The starting lineup for the Bulldogs. Turnover by East Tennessee State, and Bulldogs have the chance to score first. Aggressive screen hedge up top. Pember has the ball low. Into the lane. Tries to skip it out. Stephanie drives the lane. Kicks out. Battle. Hesitation. Pember lines it up. Knocks it down. Almost right on cue. We talked about his versatility about a minute ago. And with that drive and penetration, Pember with a clean look gets going early. Ball moved across. Trying to deal with this UNC Asheville pressure. Here's Sloan working against Trent Stephanie. It's Weber at the high post present setting the screen. Driving Sloan, the dish, corner, three, trying to answer right back off the backboard. And LJ Thorpe comes up with a board. Weber commits the foul. It'll be Ashville's ball. And Matt, you mentioned pregame. You know, these teams are, are kind of similar. They like to shoot the three a lot. So. They missed right there, but obviously we're going to see a lot of that today. Keys for the game for Asheville to be successful, presented by Ingles. Get that controlled aggression on offense. Controlled nice. aggression. Controlled aggression. I like it. And on defense, crowd the shooter without fouling the shooter. That's easier said than done. Stephanie from the foul line rattles out and a firm board grabbed by Ty Brewer. With Damian. Brewer drops it down low. Weber working on Pember. Spins back off the iron. Battle for the board. Won by Brewer. The, the offensive board and the putback is good. And the keys for East Tennessee State. Not too dissimilar from Asheville. Thorpe thought about the three. Pember for Stephanie with 10 on the shot clock. Good lane hesitation into the about eight foot jump Ooh. shot. Rattles in for Stephanie. Nice soft touch there and good hesitation by Stephanie. Looked like he wanted a little bit of the call, but Asheville will take the bucket for sure. Sloan slowing things down, hands it off. King. Ladarius Brewer hands it back off. Sloan finds a lane. The kick out. Thought about the three. Ball's knocked down. It's still loose. Stephanie dives to the floor. Three on the shot clock. Long three for Ty Brewer. Off the board, off the rim, no good. The board to Pember. Great defense there to run the shot clock all the way down by Asheville. Pember drives the lane. Dunk! Oh my! You might see that one on some highlight reels. The little no look pass from LJ Thorpe and Pember with authority. <laughs> My soul's in a real weird place right now, Phil. <laughs> 7 2 Asheville early. 16 46 left to go. Sloan drive, kick. Uh, at, ho at home, away, slightly different story. Nearly a 14 point drop in field goal percentage. Certainly off to a, a good start here, but yeah, the home court advantage has been very real this year for Asheville. Battle from the foul line for Pember. Pember, the scoop, buckets. He's making us look smart because we talked about him pregame. He's got seven points in the first four minutes. Sloan across the timeline. Darius Brewer on the drive. Tries to kick it out. It'll be out. Turnover, the third for the Bucks. It'll be Asheville Ball leading 9-2, 16.06 left to go in the first. And that was good, help and recovery there. I think the driver thought there was going to be a clean look at the layup, but got around and there's bodies, tried to kick it, and nobody was there. Brewer got into the air, realized he had Drew Pember an uncomfortable distance away from him <laughs> and a steal. The drive, the layup, no good, tipped out, battle secures the board. Into the game, 
Jaden Seymour, active hands, able to get this steal, but unable to convert on the layup. Battle drives baseline, pivots out. Stephanie resets with 12 on the shot clock. Jude catches, shoots off the back iron. Darius Brewer with the board. Pitched forward, nobody looking. That's five. Able to tell how this is going to shake out. Yeah, it's tough. Different coaching staffs, different, you know, obviously personnel from the last time they met all across the board. And, you know, maybe these teams will play a little more frequently being so close. LJ Thorpe driving the lane. Scoop left it short. Rebound comes out. Here comes the Bucks the other way, moving quickly in transition. Driving high floater. Rims out. Cody Jude has the board. East Tennessee State starting off one for six from the floor. Jude steps in. Three off the iron. Tipped out. Thorpe. What a good tip by Pember. Jones to Pember. The three. Ooh. He's on fire. He's feeling it. In rhythm. And that's a little reward for making that effort on the glass. Pember has ten points already. It's a 2-2 game, and Pember has 10. <laughs> a good spot by Jones, his second assist of the game. With nine on the shot clock, here's Seymour. Sloan has to make something happen. Five, steps in, tries to get the foul. No foul called. A foul spotted on the rebound as East Tennessee State's player hit himself, or hit his teammate, and L.J. Thorpe spotted for the foul. There was bodies flying everywhere there. I couldn't really tell what they were going to call, who they were going to call it on. Uh, I, it seemed like a lot of inadvertent contact, like you said there. It seemed like teammates hitting each other. But we'll Take a look to see. the Tried to jump into it. That's a point. Yeah, the teammates hit each other, and L.J. Thorpe gets called for the foul on no contact. Bit unlucky for Thorpe. The drive, the travel, and it'll be Ashley's ball. And that's Sloan. He's a big key for the ETSU offense. He's accounted for 34% of their offense, so they're going to look to get him going. Ball inbounded, three on two break. Pulled back, LJ Thorpe step in three, off the back iron. Yeah, here comes East Tennessee State the other way. Big rebound by Ty Brewer there. We'll have you stare into the game for the first time. Kay Kimball very much up into his grill. Ball tipped around, went off of three Bulldogs. Here comes Thorpe the other way, kicks out. Kimball lines up. Knocks it down. Asheville on fire. LJ Thorpe doing a great job of facilitating early in this one. Thorpe gets a hand on it. And this very partisan crowd getting behind the Bulldogs in a big way. Yeah, I mean, can't ask for much better of a start. 15-2 here. I mean, LJ Thorpe really finding Pember and Kimball a couple times in great fashion. And, you know, Kimball's a guy that we can knock him down. We saw him just mm -hmm. knock down four at UC Martin at 20 points. Certainly has earned the playing time he's gotten behind Trent Stephanie for the Bulldogs. Sloan. Here's Weber. Yes, they're trying to post up. The pass deflected. The shot off the back iron. Still trickling around in the tip from Weber. And it is a four minute and 30 second scoreless run that's broken. Yeah. What a really good time by Weber there on the tip. And because Pember was waiting and I thought he timed his jump almost perfectly. Weber just snuck in there. Pember, a contested three. Fantastic defense from Seymour. And really the first misstep from Pember all day. Sloan behind the screen into the corner. Here's Weber trying to make some move down low. Wave it off. A foul on the floor. That foul whistled on Quay Kimball. It'll be his first team second. Yeah, got him on the reach in there. Weber starting to find some space to get that inbound, to get that sort of interior pass in. And once he's in, he's got some fantastic low post moves. Oh, Yasser found himself wide open. The layup, good. Yeah, Mason tried to recover there. Not sure whose fault it was, but a lot of room to work with Yasser there. Bulldogs switching on a lot of screens. And that's difficult. Sometimes the communication has to be really on point. Yeah. 
Jude. One dribble. Splash down. 18-6. His first two looks from deep. Looked like they were in rhythm, really smooth, just didn't fall. Good to see him get one going there. Ball pushed forward. Here's Patterson. Wearing number 23. A zone defense look from the Bulldogs. Look at that, seven on the shot clock. Switching on screens. Here's a look at the all-time three-point leaders. Driving the lane, kicks it off. Thorpe, what a smack. My goodness, two-on-one break, the lob. And Weaver's there to break it up. What an important disruption by Weaver. What hustle there by Weaver. I mean, Asheville's got it going early. Law of averages tells us that East Tennessee State will start to find the range into the game. King again for Yasser. Down low. One dribble. The scoop trickles around and in. Good move by Jaden Seymour. A good take and a, a good bucket for ETSU there. They needed something. Pump fake. Through the contact, bucket's no good. Mason to the line to shoot one. Good patience there by Ma Mason. He felt the pressure, pump faked, and you know, attempted block there, but contact was drawn. Only the second team foul for the Bucks. It'll be the first spotted on Jaden Seymour. As Mason misses the first. Yeah, and Mason, you know, they're going to need him to play some minutes, especially eventually it looks like this team's going to get B.J. Marable back, but they've been a little short down low outside of Drew Pember at the five. Hey, John Jones back in, taking the place of Mason. Mason makes one for two. Coming into today, had only seen 13 on the season, only made four of those. Patterson. It was an area they were trying to get him to work on in the offseason a little bit. Getting it forward, Yasser dumps it down low. Weber gets it through L.J. Thorpe for the bucket. I'll tell you what, I'm impressed with him so far. Mm -hmm. Really good awareness around the rim. Stephanie drops it off for Lawson. Kicks it out. And the sprint is on. Pitches back. Yasser, the layup. Kind of mistimed the pass and weren't on for the same page, leading to a turnover and a bucket for ETSU. Jones thought about the three, pulls it down. Stephanie for LJ Thorpe. With 15 on the shot clock. Skip pass. Pump fake. Tries to find some space with three. Stephanie lines it up. Stephanie off the back iron. It'll be off of Kay John Jones, out of bounds. It'll be East Tennessee State ball. East Tennessee State waiting their way back into the game, down just seven. Yeah, I think it was 15 to two at one point. So all of a sudden, you know, as we mentioned, a lot, of, a lot of time, but good run here by the Bucks. The Buccaneers, five of their last six. And on a 6-1 run, a turnover from King just overshooting. Darius Brewer. And Asheville forces a lot of things. That one maybe just, you know, a little forced on their own self by ETSU there. Let's see if Asheville can capitalize. Pember sets the screen. Pember on the roll, has the mismatch down low. Weber tries to double. The foul spotted on Weber. This looks like it might be his second. That is correct. That's a big foul as he has been nothing short of spectacular. Four points on two of three shooting, a board and assist, but now two fouls. Thorpe from the corner, thought about the three. Good close up by Yasser, the drive through the lane. That'll be goaltending. Uh, fantastic athleticism <laughs> displayed by Ty Brewer. You just can't do that, though. Yeah, I mean, and, and that's one of those. That was going to go anyways, but rising up for what would be this swat. Uh, no good, but good take. Cordell Charles, just a little too late on the timing. Chris 
Walker. Yes, sir. Good movement. Drops it down low. The layup good to the line to shoot one. Once the 1-2-2 uh, two, two zone press is broken, East Tennessee State really decisive with the ball. Yeah, they really are. They're getting really good looks, drawing some fouls down low. And Ty Brewer, you know, him, him and his brother tandem, Ladarius and Ty from southeast Louisiana, he was a transfer, and he's really stepped in and filled a big role for ETSU. That a big second foul on L.J. Thorpe. As Ty Brewer makes the three-point play, he's got three points tonight. Yeah, that's something LJ's been battling a little bit in some games is foul trouble. Tajon Jones rattles in a three, his first of the day. Tajon Jones just three threes away as Stepney with the steal. The flip up, dock, the layup, no good. As the alley-oop left a little to the be desired, driving through the lanes, Pember tries to block it. And a big four-point swing from the Bulldogs. A three-on-one break thwarted by East Tennessee State. Jude thought about the three. Kick out, Pember, back down low, battle. The layup, good. I'll be honest, when he passed that, I didn't quite see the window, but all of a sudden, Doc had it underneath, and good finish. King into the corner. Pember, good closeout. The drive, skip through, yes sir. The battle for the board, knocked out of Asheville's own hands. The up, the under, the scoop, the battle for the board, Pember wins it. Yeah, Pember and Battle were battling each other for the first one. Pember was able to snag the second rebounding chance. Pember, hesitation, a uh, arm bar spotted on the drive. Whistled on Jordan King, that'll be his first team's fourth. Yeah, King giving up some size there, so Pember saw it, immediately tried to take advantage. Got a foul. Yasser out, back into the game is Sloan. Good minutes from Yasser. Six points, three or four shooting. In just seven minutes, that's not a bad outing coming off the bench. Yeah, no, he's, he's played some really quality minutes for ETSU. With They're gonna need some more production. Clock. Pember has the mismatch. Double team comes. Skip pass. Jones thought about it. Double team again. Jude's open. Rattles out. Big board by Ty Brewer. Pushing can, forward quickly. Good contest by Charles there. Sloan off the back iron. Here comes Stephanie. Two on two. Now a two on three break. Stephanie drives. Leaves it off. Dunk. There's that Bearden High School connection. Stephanie DePember. Good spot underneath. Brewer loses it. Able to throw it back in. Asheville stepping in. Scooping it up. Asheville by 11. Through the lane. Jude passes it off. Pember way behind the line. Heat check off the rim. Good that box out by King. Yeah, and that one I think Cody should have taken that one in stride. Tried to be a little too unselfish. Pass it up to Pember. Not a bad shot by any means, but I thought Cody had a clean look. That nearly five seconds, able to get out. Good pass underneath, Brewer with a dunk. Good flush there by Brewer. 28-19, I'm thoroughly entertained. What a game this has been. And it's a game that East Tennessee State feels like they could be back in at any moment. Yeah, absolutely, especially as big as that margin was early. To have it where it is now, they're, they're right there. With eight on the shot clock, Stephanie resets. The drive, three. Stephanie from the elbow, high arcing, off the glass and in. Scotty Pippen would approve. <laughs> Sometimes the bounces go your way. Stephanie with the steal. Able to scoop it back up. Jude steps in, thought about the three, pulled it down. Brewer able to get back and bother Jones. Asheville resetting. Stephanie looked like a free safety there, intercepting that one. He really good. And then great recovery by ETSU, not, not to allow those clean looks on the three-point opportunity. Usually that steal means a bucket, and a yep. fairly easy bucket. And East Tennessee State just getting back. A great no-look pass, tipped out with three on the shot clock. Pember has to rush a shot. Oh, he's smoking hot. 
15 points for Pember. Unbelievable. His career high is 19, and he's got 15. He's, he's doing okay. 33-19, Asheville leading 5.30 left to go in the first half. Sloan back for King. Around the Brewer screen. King, hesitation, drive. Difficult shot off the back iron. That'll go, try to be saved inbounds for the Bucks. Fantastic bench production from Yasser. He's got six points in just over seven minutes. Fall away three, Stephanie with the board. That was Brewer looking to get it going outside, just didn't fall for Ladarius. Stephanie with 18 on the shot clock. Skip for Jones, down low. Jude with six. Moves into the lane, back up, under, the layup trickles out. Did everything right, but get the finish. That was a really good move, but yeah, just didn't fall for Cody Jude, the senior from Fort Gay, West Virginia. How big is the two fouls on Weber? Yeah, I mean, that's huge because he's been all around the rim, and he, early on when nothing was going right for ETSU, he was the only guy, and then the team started to get it into it, but they're going to need to get him back in. Ty Brewer rattles out. Jones has the board. Jones is two threes away from tying second all time on the three-point list. The name Asheville fans would likely recognize. And Andrew Rousey. With 10 on the shot clock for Jones. Thought about the three, hesitation. Stephanie, step in, three, back iron. Boy, Ty Brewer, when he jumps, it looks so effortless. Basketball, get your week started off right. All the holiday festivities coming up. Sloan across the timeline with the ball. Here's King. Weber back into the game, playing with two fouls. Sloan took the bump. Down low, the foul spotted on Mason. It looked like that was the right call, but that would have been a massive problem if that was three against Weber for ETSU. Oh, I think they got it absolutely yep. right. Uh, Mason with the contact as we uh, Weber was trying to get that position. Right. Inbound to Weber. Good back cut. Found some space, a block, and the putback, the stick to itiveness of Ladarius Brewer. Those are two guys who are just really good around the rim. Battle made Brewer work really hard for that bucket. Skip past Mason. With 18, Stephanie calming things down. 2-3 zone look from East Tennessee State. Mason from the left wing, back for Stephanie. With nine, Mason, one dribble. Finds some room to drive, kicks it back out. With three, Stephanie, hesitation. Has to rush one up, gets it off, off the rim. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, I'm not sure if he got that off in time, and I think that's what they ruled. Saves his shooting percentage. With 2.31 left. Yeah, absolutely. If we're looking at bright side, sure, why not? 12-point <laughs> game. East Tennessee State would love to get this down around the 7-8 to eight mark by the time they go back into the locker room. I mean, ideally tied, but... <laughs> Well, shoot, if we're going to go tied, why not take the lead? Right, right. Sloan around the double screen. Weber. Darius Brewer. Spinning. Back under. Good body control. Jude gets the board. Tries to box out Pember. Does a good job. <laughs> really good defense there by Jude. He uses length there and, as you mentioned, didn't leave the ground, leave the floor. Hey, John Jones, my goodness, what a pure looking shot he has. A lot of contributions early, so Tejon really hasn't had to force anything. Not that he usually does, but a clean look from Jones. As he continues to climb up the, the three point charts here at UNC Asheville. Just one away from tying for second. Long three, blocked by Pember, my goodness. And what a fantastic hustle from Ladarius Brewer. Stuck to it, saw the tip, got in position. His body control unparalleled. I mean, un 
unbelievable the player he is. And it's odd to say because it's almost halftime, but that was only Pember's first block of the game. I mean, he's got to do more. Hasn't done much this half, right? <laughs> he really hasn't. He's had a quiet half. Going up for second all-time, rims out. What a pass. Brewer to Brewer, the layup. A timeout. Oh, check that. We have a delay a game warning, was that? I think so. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure, too. It felt like it would be a quick timeout by Morell to kind of Real Asheville back in. I mean, you're still up 11, but ETSU getting some confidence going into this half. With under a minute left, the 1-2-2 uh, two, two zone press. It really is like playing against a mirror. Yasser back into the game. Jones, top of the key. Skip pass, Jude open, corner. All rims out. Brewer grabs the board. About a 13 second shot clock, game clock differential. Sloan around the screen. Weber fighting for position. Had it, has to vacate the lane. Brewer had it, lost it, gets it back, pushes through Pember, the bucket good. Good pass by Weber. Great toughness to finish down low there by Ty Brewer. We're looking he, at a nine point deficit. He's got nine points in the game. Stephanie across the timeline with 10 seconds left. Four. And a foul up top on Sloan. And they've gotten it down low. They've taken some shots from outside, but really smart. Even the shots they've missed have just been good defense. With one second left, he's got to rush it. Shot him into the second half. We're underway. It'll start. Bulldogs ball on alternating possession. Weber, good show. Stephanie drops it off for Jones. Jones driving. Good cutoff by Sloan. Pember through the contact. Pember, the drive, kick. Thorpe thought about the shot, pulls it down with nine. The shot from Jones fouled on the rebound attempt. It'll be Asheville's ball. That looks that like whistled on Weber. This is Ooh, third. That's, that's a huge tough. call. Tough call for Weber, who I thought just fighting for the ball. Uh, that's tough, and we talked about how good he was in the first half, you know, on Asheville side. LJ Thorpe has two, but they're leaving him in for now. Quickly off of the bench, though, Seymour ready to check in next, next dead ball. Pember working on. Weber drops it off low for Stephanie. A foul as Stephanie goes up, spotted on King. That'll be the second on King, second team foul, and it'll be two shots for Stephanie. I, I like the strategy by Morell. You know Weber's got three fouls. They went right at him. Now, if you're ETSU, you're, you're fortunate, but if I'm an ETSU Bucks fan there, I'm holding my breath while no, Pember's backing them down. But this team, a, a, a different team when Weber in the game, he's got some, I always say, a good sort of forward, like a low post forward, has two good moves and a, and a counter. Yeah. Weber has two really good moves and a counter. It really does. I mean, and we, we've seen just how skilled he is, how patient he is down low. So it's going to be interesting to see how they... They weather this time without him. He's going to have to sit so he can play later. Stephanie makes the second. Uh, just five foul shots taken on the day by both teams combined. And a fantastic pass forward for Ladarius Brewer. King wide open for three. Knocks it down. East Tennessee State knocks down their first three of the game. And pulls to within seven. Really good job breaking the press and getting a clean three. And Yeah, they didn't have much luck from the, the three-point line in the first half. But nice shot there by King. 0 for 9 in the first half, 1 for 1 in the second half. Around the screen, Stephanie. Skip pass for battle. Battle around the screen. Tries to throw it into the corner, tipped out. It'll be Asheville's ball with 7 left on the shot clock. Looks like that was Brewer who got his hand in the passing lane there. Thorpe dodged it out of the way there to keep it Asheville possession. Asheville just one for their last six shots. The layup from Stephanie erasing that. And back to a nine-point game. Sloan looking forward for King. Brewer to pull up from eight. He's got 11. ETSU answering here early in this second half. Thorpe for Pember. Pember driving the lane. Foul spotted. And it'll be whistled on Seymour. His second, team's third. Yasser back into the game. Taking the place of King. 
It'll be Ashles ball, 22 on the shot clock. A solid crowd here. We mentioned how, the, how close these two teams are. Just about 60 miles between campuses. East Tennessee State travels really well. Battle driving into the lane. Gets in trouble. Underneath the basket. Swatted out. Saved in. But a foot on the line with five on the shot clock. It'll be Asheville's ball. This is the exact scenario. Last possession. Stephanie was able to get to the rim and score, but... Again, five on the shot clock, as Matt mentioned. Page on in the far corner, one to watch. For Pember. Takes a step, makes a move. The shot too strong, tipped out of bounds. It'll be East Tennessee State's ball off of Jones. Some really good defensive possessions by ETSU early in this half. I mean, Asheville's had to work all the way down the 30 seconds on the shot clock his last two possessions. Sloan across the timeline. A hand check on Trent Stephanie spotted. Team's first. Check that. Team's second. No, I was right the first time. Team's first. <laughs> the old uh, announcer's jinx. Of, as you mentioned, a I second guess myself. Fouling, you know? I was like, I've, I've whiffed on a couple today. Uh, Weber's pronunciation being one of them. The <laughs> shot, no good. Asheville gets the board. Asheville in transition. Thorpe driving. Foul spotted. That'll be whistled on number one, Yasser. Went over uh, and said hello to the, those kids in the front row while he was at it. All pumped to see Mr. LJ Thorpe. Thorpe trying to inbound on the sideline. Boy, Stephanie, really smart play, kind of letting that go by him so he didn't get the backcourt violation. Jones from behind the, the screen, but a moving screen set by L.J. Thorpe. And L.J. Thorpe apoplectic by the call. And Coach Morell does not agree with that one. I didn't have a clean look at it. That's going to be three on Thorpe. And two key players. One for each respective team to the bench with three fouls. Here's Sloan. One dribble kick out. And rattles in two for two behind the three-point line in the second half. It's a four-point game. Jaden Seymour set up really nicely there. A 6'8 freshman knocking it down. And as you mentioned, it's down to four. Stephanie trying to drive on the baseline. Gets out to Jude. Thought about the three. Yes, a good closeout. Jones behind the screen. The shot. The bucket. Not He's bad, tied for second all time. 208 three pointers in his career. Next three, and it's his alone. And then just another 90 to get up to the next spot. <laughs> Brewer trying to answer with a three of his own. Gets his own board into the lane. Good pass. Seymour, oh my goodness, mashed by Pember. Two times, Pember! A uh, jump ball, East Tennessee State keeps possession. Two gigantic blocks from Pember. Timbers, I mean, his timing is just so incredible. And those are uh, those are statement blocks. He had a statement dunk early in the first really half. Did. Those are some statement blocks right there. Frustrated Seymour. The Tennessee transfer. Difference maker this year for UNC Asheville. Seymour gets the inbound. Drops it down low. Yasser through the contact. And a block from Jones. Here comes Asheville the other way. Pember top of the key. 20 on the shot clock. Into the corner. Battle. Thought about the three. The drive. Spins away. Pump fake. Through the contact. The bucket to the line. So tough to see. And, you know, hopefully a lot of people can donate and help out the people in Kentucky and whoever has been impacted by that. Battle. Missed. A little short on that one, but they they uh, they iced the free throw shooter with that timeout. Absolutely. Uh, 
Asheville leading by nine. East Tennessee State with the ball looking to answer. Skip pass, Yasser. As battles, Shue has come off. Fight glitched on the screen. And Battle committing the foul off the ball so that he could get his shoe back on. <laughs> That's a tough, tough sequence there from Battle, but he had the massive bucket right before the under-16 timeout. It's pretty hard to play defense when you got one shoe, so can't really blame him there. The problem, East Tennessee State realized <laughs> <laughs> that he had it. He's like, hey, he's got one shoe. Maybe we should go at him. And I mean, absolutely what I would have done. Smart with 10 on the shot clock. The drive all the way to the bucket, high off the glass. And Cody Jude grabbing the board. Pember's length altering that shot there. Stephanie across the timeline. All the way to the basket, the uh, reverse off the glass, no good, tipped off Pember. It'll be East Tennessee State ball. And that would have been a really impressive bucket had Stephanie got that one to go. David Sloan, the senior out of Louisville, Kentucky. Yasser from the corner, the drive, all the way to the basket, and Jude strips it. Here comes Asheville the other way. Pember into the lane, driving through the contact to the line to shoot one. Man, really just doing it all. He's got 17 points going for 18 from the line. Three boards, three blocks, two assists. Tis the season and a partridge in a pear tree. I mean, filling up the stat sheet for sure. And that's a cut the second time today we've seen him in transition with a head of steam going to the basket. And uh, good things happen. Knocks down the free throw. Asheville three for six from the free throw line today. King back into the game. King for Sloan. Good skip pass. King spots it, drops it. Big three from King. He's had a couple from the left side in the second half. And those shots need to fall for ETSU. King now two for two from behind the three-point line today. He's got six points. Pember, one dribble, spins back from 12, rattles it in, 20 points. I mean, he's got everything going today. Career high for Drew Pember. And on eight of 11 shooting. Is that good? It's not bad. You can do better, but not a lot. King on the drive. From the elbow, trying to find something to do with the ball. With five on the shot clock. Long pull-up three off the iron. It'll go out of bounds. It'll be Asheville ball. Sloan had a couple of seconds left to do something, but I honestly think that's his best shot. He had some space, and if he tries to make something better, there's no guarantee he gets anything better. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally with you on that possession. It's just a testament to you know, what Asheville has done defensively because Sloan, we, we talked about 34% of the offense he's been involved in for ETSU this, this season. He's, he's over today. Pember knocked out. It'll be Asheville ball. 20 on the shot clock. 13-31 left to go in regulation. 11-point Asheville lead. Asheville four for their last five from the floor. Pember three of his last four. And King spotted on the foul. Thought he got it clean. That'll be three on King. I honestly didn't see it. Yeah, that was, uh, that was close. I was, I was watching uh, the ball handler. I didn't see King kind of trying to front Stephanie on the pass. Yeah, I thought it was a close play as well. It was tough, tough to see. I mean... He's been, again, you mentioned a couple of big three-pointers in this half for ETSU. Now he goes to the bench. Bucks are going to need to get some other guys going. One and one on the seventh team foul as King takes a seat on the bench. As
as Pember knocks down his first free throw. Two for two from the free throw line. He's got 21 points. Yes, adding to his career high. He got player of the week last week. He wants it again. Well, 22 points is a good good start against a very good East Tennessee State team. And, you know, yeah, oh, yeah, and, and I don't know if you want to call it irony, but, you know, Drew Pember and head coach Desmond Oliver know each other pretty well. Pember was a Tennessee transfer, and that's where Oliver was, I believe, his last six seasons before mm -hmm. he got the East Tennessee State job. Showing off for his old coach. Sloan on the ball, working on Kimball. Has the lane, the drive, off the glass, rattles in. Good take. He just tip your cap there. That was a tough bucket there from Sloan. Stephanie for Jude, back to Stephanie. Good ball movement, tips. And here's Sloan with the steal, driving on Pember. Throws it off <laughs> of the shot clock. It'll be Ashville's ball. If that went, I don't know what I would have done. <laughs> that was a crazy little look there. I mean, really good anticipation on the steal. Almost created a little four-point swing. Sloan extremely aggressive when he's got the ball. Stephanie on the bench. It's Kimball, Battle, Jude, Jones, and Pember. Here comes Battle up the court with five seconds left to get across the timeline. They do. Looks like they're going to call a foul there. I wasn't sure what they were going to call. A foul on Kimball. <laughs> yeah, I. I not really sure there, but ETSU, not sure how that you know, they're fighting pretty hard here. Yeah, East Tennessee State did a great job. What East Tennessee State did was they trapped Kimball on the half-court line. Really no, not many options for Kimball. And I think it's better for East Tennessee State if that rolls out because they're on a run out. So the yeah. foul may be a good thing for Asheville. I like it. Glass half full over there if you're an Asheville fan. But if I'm East Tennessee State, I'm kind of wanting that to just let it be. It's, right. There's a ball that's loose on the floor. East Tennessee State's favored to be the first there. Somebody already making their way down towards the basket. Long two, splash, 13 points for Ty Brewer. And here comes East Tennessee State thundering back. Stephanie across the timeline. Kicks it out. Jones, it's his, all his, second all-time three points for Asheville. What a, what a moment for Tejon and a big answer as ETSU attempting to climb back with second all-time and three-pointers made at UNC Asheville for Tejon Jones. Weber kicked by Sarah, but just a testament to his career. A lot of games left, but past Andrew Rousey to move second place all-time. Weber for Yasser. Back for King. King back into the game. Drops it off for Patterson. Yasser. Gets it in. Brewer, tough shot. Oh, what a shot. What a bucket there by Brewer. Ten-point game. Brewer had to rush it. High arc. Splash down. What a fantastic play. Brewer has 13. And we'll see if you're ETSU, ETSU, if you can cut more into this lead. Battle turns it over. Ford for Yasser goes through his hands out of bounds. Turnovers back and forth. And the first eight minutes of the second half, only two turn, excuse me, one turnover for East Tennessee State. As you take a look at Desmond Oliver, his first season at East Tennessee State, seven and four, previously an assistant at Tennessee. Yeah, it comes from a good basketball background, but you know, the Bucks, they, they've got it right to around nine multiple times, but really haven't gotten any closer. That's uh, not a three, that's a uh, held ball. It'll be Asheville's ball, despite where Pember and Weber are going. <laughs> Here they you'll see them coming back into the screen. There they go. They're trying to space the floor, you know, four on four. Apparently. I like that Weber and Pember were just like, wherever he's going, I'm going. <laughs> Why are we walking this way? I don't know. 
Asheville ball after a incident. Jude with 13 on the shot clock. For Stephanie, reset with eight. Good hesitation, the drive. Nearly loses it out of bounds, does lose it out of bounds. The ninth turnover of the game for the Bulldogs. Some little chatter going on right now. We have double technicals. One's on Stephanie. And we'll Looks like Patterson and Stephanie. I did see they were kind of up close and they, there was some talking with the refs. I guess it's even. That'll be the second on Stephanie. CSU trying to climb back into this one again. A good bucket there. Brewers really got it going. That's 17 for him. He's fantastic from the mid-range. A lost art. Certainly Just is. Brilliant. So much fun to watch. It's a seven-point game. Kick out Jude. Thought about the three. Pember with 15 for Jones. Stephanie with nine. Pember drives. Tough shot off the glass. Jones had a hand on it, lost it on the way up. He's fouled. He'll go to the line to shoot two. That the fourth on Weber. Great foul there by Jones. You know, didn't get the rebound, but was able to get fouled, and now he's going to go to the line. I mean, we talked about Pember a lot. Pember is sitting at 8, eight of 12. Brewers 8 for 11. It will be two shots for Jones, considered in the act of shooting. Uh, I was trying to see if it was a one and one, because that's the ninth team foul for East Tennessee State, but it'll be two for Jones. First one splashes through. Jones has maybe the quietest 13 you've ever heard. I was thinking that. I was thinking that, you know, just just does what he does and spreading out his three-pointers in this one. Sometimes he gets them in bunches. He's a good four for seven behind the three-point line and one for one now two for two up from the free throw line. Pushes Asheville back out to a 10-point lead. 10 left to go in the game. And that eight point deficit was as close as it's been since early, early, maybe the first minute of the game. So, Asheville answering. Good ball movement for King. Weber stays on the floor with his fourth foul. King around the screen. Good pass. Yes, sir. Knocks down the three. Not a lot of arc on that shot, but that was pure. Nine points for Yasser. And it's a seven-point game. 2-3 zone defense look from East Tennessee State. Thorpe, the high post for Stephanie. Good ball movement. Jude open, three, drops it. And Cody's a guy that's slowly climbing the charts. He's closing in on 200 career three-pointers. I think he's just a couple away now. He'd only be the... Fifth member of that club at Asheville. King with nine minutes left to go in the game. A ten point game. King on the drive. Low for Weber. Good turnaround. High jump. A foul. And it'll be spotted on number two. That's four on Thorpe. Yeah, and Thorpe, you know, good facilitator early. Got a couple of fouls and just hasn't been able to get back into a rhythm, which is hard when you're kind of in and out. Understand why, you know, they're trying to restrict him because they want him late, but he's going to have to go sit for a little bit more here. And we'll see the three-point list. We talked about Tejon, now his teammate Cody Jew. The two of them entered the season as the Big South one and two leading three-point career make, or made, makes in their career. So they continue to get it done from outside. Yasser was ruled to have a foot on the line when he took his three, just a two. He's got six points. A hand check spotted on Pember. That's the seventh team foul. That'll send Weber to the line to shoot one and one. You know, I knew how we, we talked about the little free throws, the small amount of fouls in the first half. It just wasn't going to stay the same in the second half. Started to be a little choppier here. Weber, 90% from the free throw line, knocks down the first.
LJ Thorpe back into the game, playing with four fouls, as is Weber. Well, Doc Nine went in there game. for a minute. <laughs> Doc and LJ swapped out very quickly there. Checking something over at the scorer's table. Just making sure they got the foul on the right player. Confirming it was on Pember. The second shot misses. A rarity for Weber. LJ gave, uh, gave Cody a big grin when he got that rebound. East Tennessee State 50-59 for UNC Asheville. Tried to get the ball down low. Thorpe on the ground. Trying to find space, a timeout taken. Their own basket, Jude, catch, shoot. He is off the rim. Pember gets the board, the putback. Pember's got 24, because why not? Continue to pad the stats for Pember, and a good look by Cody, just didn't fall. Cody Jude just two away from 200 of career college three-pointers. Yeah, I'm sure he made a lot in high school, too. Down low. Ty Brewer, tough shot, makes it. I've said that at least 10 times today. <laughs> Ty have. Brewer, tough shot, makes it. But you haven't been wrong. Back to a nine-point game. Brewer's got 19. Jones, step in, three, off the iron, battle for the board. Forward for Ty Brewer. A travel spotted. At, it really has. It's been a really good game, you know. Good crowd here today at Kimmel Arena. Yeah, fun's the perfect way to describe this basketball game. Stephanie able to break the double team. Jones thought about the three. Stephanie resets with 20 left on the shot clock. Around the Thorpe screen. Stephanie with 10. Jones thought about the three. Good closeout from King with seven for Thorpe. Jones, one dribble, gets to the side, spots up. Off the back iron, Pember has the board, drops it for Jones. Asheville resetting the offense, new shot clock is down to 13. Thorpe looks low, kicks out, open, three, splash, Ooh. one away for 200. Cody Jude, as you mentioned, continuing to climb the chart, sitting at 199 for his career. Asheville by 12, King with 18. King's got nine points on three of four shooting. Darius Brewer takes the lane over Pember, which is not easy to do. No, we've seen him. When he doesn't get blocks, he impacts so many shots. And, uh, Ladarius Brewer is starting to get come to a little bit of life. Ty Brewer has been carrying the offensive load so far for the Bucks. Ladarius Brewer with eight points. Pember thought about it. Resets for Asheville. It'll be Stephanie with 15 on the shot clock. Around the screen. Hesitation. Pump fake. Tipped off a of Brewer. It'll be Asheville ball. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Yasser back into the game. Taking the place of King. Check that. He's taking the place of Sloan. Five fifty-eight left to go in regulation. Asheville by 10. L.J. Thorpe into the lane. Power move. The floater rattles out. And Brewer has the board. King quickly moving into the front court. Pember nearly got his hand in there for another big second chance rebound. Brewer step back. Three off the back iron. Swatted inbound. Saved somehow by King. Stephanie slowing things down, no look. Pember, wide open, ho oh, ho, 27 for Pember. Uh, specifically when you got Ty Brewer who's having a 19 point day, just a fantastic day for Ty Brewer. Here's King, Slay back into the game. Sloan back into the game, taking the place of Yasser. King from 10, splash. Every possession big now for ETSU as we hit the five-minute mark here. All the way through the lane. Battle loses it on the pass from Stephanie. Darius Brewer in transition. Skip for Sloan. Sloan, step back. Three off the front iron. 
Sloan gets his own board. The reverse off the glass. Rattles around. Jones has the board. And a foul from Sloan. Sloan just a high energy guy bouncing around trying to get something going offensively. Maybe a bit of a frustration in that foul. It'll be his second, team's tenth, so it'll be Stephanie to line to shoot two. 11-point game. Yep. See if they can extend it at the line here. Stephanie one for two on the day to seven points from the free throw line anyway. A game high, two steals. The first shot off the back of the rim, no good. Asheville trying to push it to a 12-point lead. Second foul shot, good. It is a 12-point lead. Stephanie has eight. East Tennessee State with the ball, 436 left to go in regulation. Yasser for King. Here's Sloan around the screen. Ty Brewer on the roll. Skip pass, Yasser spots up, behind the line, off the rim, Pember snagging that board. Pember just keep adding to his total. I mean, just doing it all for UNC Asheville. We said it a lot for good reason. That the sixth rebound for Pember. With 4.05 left to go in regulation, Asheville by 12 with the ball. Stephanie working on Sloan around the Pember screen. Good crossover into the lane. Jude open three, 200. Big 200 and a big three-pointer from Cody Jude. It's a 15-point game. Seeing a lot of history here tonight from some shooters. Cody Jude, just the fifth member of the 200 three-point club at UNC Asheville. Ty Brewers, tough shot, makes it. Record me saying that, <laughs> and then just play it every time he touches the ball. He's got 21 points. As so what an impressive career by both Cody Jude and Tejon Jones, continuing to climb up the all-time charts. Stephanie knocks down the first, three for five from the foul line today. He's got nine points, trying to reestablish the 15-point lead. The guard from Knoxville, Tennessee, puts them both down. It is a 15-point game, 326 left in regulation. Sloan moving into the front court. The foul spotted on Stephanie, called for the block. That'll be his third. That'll be the team's eighth. It'll be one and one. And it'll be King stepping to the line to take those at least one free throw. King coming into today, shooting 75% from the free throw line. Only eight attempts in his first attempts of the day. Knocks down the first important free throw for East Tennessee State. Yeah, you know, it's a little bit of a long shot, but we've seen some crazy things happen. And, and you know, credit to ETSU. You know, they got big early, climbed back into it. And then Asheville was just able to keep them at bay and keep that double-digit lead every time they get to the nine or eight. So we'll see if the Bulldogs ice it here. ETSU's got one more charge left in them. Stephanie for LJ Thorpe moving quickly into the front court for Jude. LJ Thorpe, the point forward, gets it off to Stephanie. Three minutes left to go in regulation. It's a 13-point game. With 10 around the Pember screen. Into the corner. L.J. Thorpe with five. Into the corner, Pember misses everything. Here's Yasser pushing forward for King. Asheville piling back on defense. King on the drive. Sloan, good pump fake. Step in, long two, off the rim. Pember has the board. He's got seven boards to go along with his 27 points. Thorpe across the timeline. Asheville in no hurry. Nearly stolen away by Ty Brewer. Pember grabs it, 
into the corner. Jude, three, off the back iron. Go, go, gadget arms for Ty Brewer, his seventh board. King, good fake. Pember erases Ooh. it. Oh! Another exclamation point for Drew Pember. Jeez. How dare you, first <laughs> off, second off, smiling as he runs down the far sideline. He's having himself a game, that's for sure. Well, it is a season of giving. Pember giving some nightmares out to opposing offenses. Jones, the crossover. King, good defense. Scooped up off the iron, no good. King spotted on the reach in. That'll be his fourth. Getting another look at that one. My goodness. There's a reason he's top five in the country in blocks and blocks per game. He showed it off here, among other things. 27, six and four is a good stat line with 131 left to go. Jones off the back iron. Tejon Jones has 14 on four and nine shooting. And taking a look at UNC Asheville's upcoming schedule. It'll be Milligan at home before heading off to Indiana. And then the conference play starts. Taking on Campbell in Bowie's Creek before the home conference opener will be Charleston Southern. On the 8th of January, Jones knocks down the second. He's got 15. It's a 14-point game. As you just saw, you know, conference play right around the corner. These non-conference games have been fun, though. King across the timeline, playing with four fouls. Around the Brewer screen. Sloan into the corner. Brewer, skip pass. King, open, three, off the back iron. Stephanie has the board. Knocked off of the ball. It'll be a foul whistled on Charles. That'll be at two free throws for Stephanie. Stephanie battling, battling hard there, and he's going to get to the line one more time. With 109 left to go in regulation. Taking a look at East Tennessee State's upcoming schedule. Down to Athens to take on Georgia before taking on UTC in Chattanooga. Back in Johnson City, welcoming Western Carolina. And then taking on BMI and Wofford. A three-game home swing to start the new year. Stephanie, one for two from the free throw line. 11 points. It's a 15-point game. King spots it. Long three off the back iron. Ladarius Brewer blocked by Pember, but a foul spotted on the play. It'll be whisked. It will be whistled on LJ's Thorpe, which is impressive because he's not on the floor yet. <laughs> It'll be whistled on 22. That's Cody Jude. I saw the two, and I just assumed. <laughs> <laughs> they got it all, all sorted out. First shot splashes through. Brewers got nine. It's a 14-point game. L.J. Thorpe back into the game, taking the place of Doc Battle. Second shot, good. From Ladarius Brewer. He's got 10 points. Thorpe in a bit of trouble, throws it away. Here's Sloan, quickly working in transition. Brewer, the layup. 23 points for Ty Brewer. And Brewer fouls Stephanie to the line with 40.4 left to go. Not impossible, 11 right. points, 40 seconds. Knocked down a couple free throws, puts this one away, but ETSU fighting all the way to the end. You never know what can happen. First shot for Stephanie, splashes through. Stephanie, six for nine from the free throw line today to go along with four assists and two steals. Bulldogs a solid 16 assists to go along with five steals. East Tennessee State's only had three turnovers in the second half. And that, they struggle with that early, much better in the second half, but kind of dug a hole that doesn't seem like they'll be able to get out. 
Knocked off of the leg of Sloan. Out of bounds. It's Asheville ball. 33.4 left to go in regulation. Thorpe to inbound. A man press look. Into Stephanie. For Thorpe. Ford for Jones. Stephanie has it. Just about a three second shot clock, game clock difference. The trap still comes. Over for Jones with 10 on the shot clock. The drive and a foul spotted on the drive. That'll be whistled on number 20. That's Cordell Charles, the freshman out of Ontario, Canada. Spent some time at the IMG Academy. And with 10.4 seconds left, Jones will shoot two. Looking at the Southern Conference preseason poll, East Tennessee State picked to finish right, right there with Mercer, sort of that third, but by a point. You can see why they've got an immensely talented squad. Yeah, just about year in and year out, this team is, you know, top half of that league, if not top, you know, two or three. So. They should be in the mix. Definitely a good ball club in Johnson City. As King across the line with three seconds left. And we dribble out the clock, and that'll do it as King takes a three at the buzzer. Will